kind of foul swamp is this in which I must live and make my living? I cannot decipher which half of it is worse. The endless, monstrous crimes of men or the many barbarous ways by which we punish them. For little more than the theft of a penny, we flog, brand, burn, maim, and jail them or dispatch them to godforsaken land. Hang a boy. A boy of a of only twelve. This, this is so seeped into my guts and bones. It becomes so usual to my life that it turns the murder of boys into a mere prologue to the main business of the day. This business of ours in the civil court, where in a pantomime of justice, the interweave of our two lives will be redrawn as animal fornication, our chastity reminted as debauchery. What does a man do when all this weighs too heavy on his soul? <laughs> This man says he is beaten. I am. I'm beaten. that my son's return was offered to me. William Barrow saw it clear and stayed true to himself and by so doing kept me true to mine. The man who talks here of defeat is not the same. Confusion resolved to flee the clamor of this invented scandal. It was William Garrow who kept me here with protestations of love. Without him, my English cheeks would by now be roasted by the French sun. By your promises, you filled me with fortitude. Now, this woman says you must join her in her resolve, or your pessimism will conjure up the future you fear. I will mimic my teacher and quell my fear, but where to take its place may I find hope? He stands behind me. Mr. Suithouse brings hope, do you not? 